The speaker, also on behalf of co-authors, is Madame Mariette Schacke. Thank you, President, Commissioner, dear colleagues. As the Eurovision finalists warm up their voices and practice their dance routines, the voices of the people in Azerbaijan are muffled. As much as the authorities may want to make the Eurovision Song Contest the great Azerbaijan show, the world is not blinded by glitter, glamour and propaganda. We are very concerned of the ongoing violations of human rights in Azerbaijan, and polished statements from government do not convince, it's only actions that speak. Today, two vice chairs of the Mushavat party, a member of Liberal International, Tofik Yakublu and Guala uh, Aslani were detained in the streets of Baku. Only one in six vice chairs has not been arrested. An advisor of the party leaders under house arrest, people are being threatened by the authorities. And Anar Garayli has been missing for two days. Arif Ajili and Trua Abbasli and various other human rights activists and members of the opposition have been detained for over a year. These people are recognized as prisoners of conscience by Amnesty International. And to them I want to say, we will not forget you. To the Azeri authorities I want to say, live up to your responsibilities to respect human rights. Adhere to your commitments in the OSCE framework and in the context of the association agreement. Do you want to be a part of the EU neighborhood policy or not? Azerbaijan is not a credible actor to the EU if it does not stick to its agreements full stop. Thank you very much. And the next speaker also will call for is Madame Veronique de Keyser. Une minute, s'il vous plaît. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Il y a une dizaine de jours, quand je regardais Euronews, j'ai vu une magnifique émission sur l'Azerbaïdjan parlant du concours de l'Eurovision. Pas un mot sur les droits de l'homme. Juste montrer le Crystal Palace.